Is he mad with me, Caesar? Is he mad with me, Caesar? Is he mad with me, Caesar? Today we're going to learn all about histograms and by the end of this video you're going to know how to read them and how to interpret the data. So a histogram looks a lot like a bar graph but is different than a bar graph in that it's not showing categorical data where there's different categories or subjects for each of the bars. In this case there's a range of numbers, a range of amounts that each bar represents. And this kind of data goes really well with a frequency table also. So I'm gonna show you an example to get us started. So this frequency table is showing the heights of different plants that were measured, and it's showing in different ranges of heights. So take a look at that frequency table. We've got a 40 to 44 inches, then we've got 45 to 49 inches, and so on and so on. So let's take a look at the frequency table. So I like to kind of read through a frequency table first to under make sure I understand it really well. So how many plants are 40 to 44 inches tall? Okay, you got it, four. How many plants are 45 to 49 inches tall? Okay, awesome, eight. And then let's skip ahead to another one. How many plants are 60 to 64 inches tall? All right, you got it, two. So we can put that data into a histogram like this. And so those bars show that exact same information that the frequency table shows. Now in a histogram, one thing to understand is that we're not going to know the specific information about how tall each, every single plant is. We just know that four of them are in this range of 40 to 44. All right, and now that we've seen our first example, let's go over to the whiteboard to see some more. Okay, so I wanted you to see an example where I give you some random data that's not organized yet so that we can organize it into a frequency table and then into a histogram. So this is just data that I collected my last trip to Target. I saw these ages of people. So I'm noticing some single digit numbers. So I'm gonna make my first range zero to 10. Then I'm going to do 11 to 20. Okay, got to keep going because I see some older people there. 21 to 30, 31 to 40. And I need to do probably one more range because I see some people that are older than 40. So 41 to 50. I'm making every range the same amount. Okay, then I just need to look through my data. So how many people are in the zero to 10 range? I see one, two, three, four. Okay, so that frequency is four. Let's look at the 11 to 20. Notice how I'm marking things as I go so I don't miss something. Okay, 15 and 16, is that it? Yep, I think so. So two of those, 21 to 30. <clears throat> okay, just one. And then 31 to 40. Okay, I'm seeing that one. And then how many in the 41 to 50 range? Okay, you got it too. Okay, now I can put this into a histogram by using these ranges as my x-axis over here. I can have those ranges down below. So zero to 10, that'll be its own bar. 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40 and 41 to 50, all on the x-axis. My y-axis, what do you think I should do with my y-axis? Yeah, I need to count by something to make sure I can have every bar represented on this. So my highest amount is four, 
four people were in that age range. So I just need to make this go to four, which would be easy to just count by ones. Sometimes you're gonna have a larger number where you're gonna wanna count by fives or tens or something like that. This case, it's pretty easy to just count by ones. Okay, so now we just it's just a matter of making the bars that go with these ranges on the x-axis. So what should I do with my zero to 10? Yep, you got it, make the bar go to four. Okay, how about the 11 to 20? Yep, you got it, two. Okay, 21 to 30. Yep, is a one. 31 to 40 is another one. And then 41 to 50, good job, is a two. All right, so great job. We have our histogram, our frequency table, random data. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.